preschool at home. Yeah, welcome back guys. We're here for another week of Coast Kids Preschool and our second week of looking at the Christmas story. Oh, I love Christmas, Phoebe. So do I. It's all the cool things. There's presents and trees and all that fun stuff, but it's also celebrating Jesus' birth. Oh, that's the most important part about Christmas, Phoebe. Yeah, it is. Hey, so today we are going to look at the second and third parts of the Christmas story. If you can remember way back to last week, we looked at an angel's visit, which was the very first part of the story where an angel visited Mary and told her she was going to have a baby called Jesus. Oh, that must have been the most amazing experience, Phoebe. I know. Pretty cool, eh? Yes. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what happens in the next few parts with you guys today. Oh, shall we get into it, Phoebe? I can't wait to see it either. Yeah. First of all, I'm just going to show you guys our booklet. If you've got one of these and you picked it up from our Click and Collect, Make sure that you go through it afterwards with your mum and your dad and you read through the bits, you can do the activities, there's lots of fun things in there to do. So don't forget about this. But yes, I think you're right, we should get into the story and the activities. Oh, let's go! <laughs> Alright friends, so now it is time to hear the next part of our Christmas story. So last week, as you can see here, we learnt about an angel's visit, which was the very first part of the story. In this part, an angel came and visited Mary and told her that she was going to be pregnant and have baby Jesus. Pretty cool, eh? So today we're going to look at the second and the third parts of the story. We're going to start off with the second part and that is called a long journey. After Mary had found out that she was going to be pregnant with a baby Jesus, not long after that, the man that she was meant to marry, called Joseph, also found out that she was going to be pregnant. A little bit after this time, the man that was in charge, called Augustus Caesar, wanted to count everyone to see how many people there were. And so he needed everyone to travel all the way back to the place that they came from. Mary and Joseph needed to travel all the way back to a place called Bethlehem. And so Joseph got Mary on a donkey. She was pretty pregnant with Jesus at this time. He got her on a donkey and they traveled a long journey all the way back to Bethlehem. So I think it's time for us to stick up our characters onto our storyboard. So we have Mary, Joseph and a donkey. So I think we'll stick on our donkey first. There you go. And Mary, who was pregnant with Jesus, was riding the donkey. So she's going to go up on the donkey there. And then we'll also have Joseph. And just for a bit of decoration, I've got two little trees that we can stick on as well. There you go. Now we've got an angel's visit and a long journey up on our storyboard. The next part of the story is called No Room in the Inn. When Mary and Joseph arrived back at Bethlehem, it was so, so busy and there was a lot of people. Because so many people were going back to their homes and so many people had gone back to Bethlehem, all of the inns were full and there was no room for Mary and Joseph to stay. Where are they going to have baby Jesus? I guess we'll have to find that out in our next video next week. But this part is called No Room in the Inn and so we've got our little inn to stick on. Push that on. We've got our innkeeper. He's got a little sign that says, sorry, no rooms left. We're going to stick him on there as well. We've got some more trees for decoration. And of course, we've got our donkey and Mary and Joseph. So we're going to stick them on as well. Mary on the donkey and Joseph standing next to them. Cool. Doesn't that look awesome? We've got an angel's visit, a long journey and no room in the inn, all stuck onto our storyboard. 
Make sure you come back next week to watch next week's video and we'll find out where Jesus is born and what happens afterwards. All right, I think it's time to get into a craft. All right, so now that we've found out our second and third part of the story, I think it's time to do a craft. So because it's Christmas, we have to do a Christmas craft, obviously. And so I thought it would be fun to make some different Christmas decorations. Oh, I'm dropping things all over the floor. So I've already made three of them here that I can show you. And then I'll show you how to make them from the start. So they're little paper Christmas baubles like this. Pretty cute, eh? So I've th made those three and I'm gonna teach you how to make them yourself. So what you do is you start off with one of these, kind of looks like a flower. Yeah, a flower little pattern. You can make your own or you can print them off, whatever you'd like to do. You start off with this and the idea is that you keep on folding these leaves together and gluing them until you create your little circle. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fold in the first leaf. I've got my hot glue gun here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue right on the first leaf. And then fold over the other one and push them together. Might be a little bit hot, so make sure you don't burn your fingers. And then you can see we've got our first little fold. And all we need to do is keep on folding up the leaves and gluing them to the top until we've got our circle. So I'm gonna get my hot glue gun again, put on a little bit more glue, and fold up the next leaf. And then we just need to let that cool the glue has gone all nice and sticky and hard and so that it doesn't come undone because that wouldn't be a very good craft would it okay we've got our first three and now what I'm gonna do is do the other side on top as well get my glue again a little bit more glue up there and stick that on going to blow on it a little bit to help it cool down. Cool, now we just have two more leaves to pin up. A little bit more glue. And fold up the leaf. All right, once that is nice and glued on, we can do our very last one. Oh, I've got glue all over my hands now. Okay, time for our very last leaf. A little bit more glue. And fold it up and stick it on. I'm just going to push down gently to help the glue set. And look at that! We've got our little Christmas circle bauble shape. So, I'm just going to put that to the side to let it cool a little bit longer and I'll show you how to make the little tie for the top. So I've got some string here and we're going to make that into our little loop. And then I've got these little beads and what you're going to do is thread through both ends of our string. Cool, once those are both through, we just need to tie a little knot. And tie really tight. And there you go, you can see now that we have got our string and our little bead at the bottom. I'm just gonna get my scissors and chop off a little bit of the extra string. And now all we need to do is glue it onto the top of our decoration. So, 
a little bit more glue. And we're just gonna press that on. All right guys, now that our glue has dried, we are left with our beautiful little Christmas decoration. So now we've got four of them that I can stick on my tree. Pretty cool, eh? So you guys are more than welcome to try, oh, dropped off the side. More than welcome to try this at home. You can do any color that you want, any design that you want, or you can print one out from the internet. Um, just ask your mum and dad to help you with the hot glue maybe, or you can just use a glue stick. It's been so much fun hanging out with you guys today. I hope you are having a lot of fun doing a whole lot of Christmassy things. Maybe you've set up your tree or you're buying Christmas presents. It's a lot of fun leading up to Christmas, isn't it? I had so much fun learning about the second and third part of the Christmas story with you guys today, and I'm very excited to learn more about it next week. Have a great week, guys. See you next time.